Days of Leavers, this is Super Zomar God Barbecue, and today I have two very special things to show you. One may blow our tiny little mind, the other one is this QR code right here, and yes, this is finally for a map. Yeah, you're probably thinking to yourself, why are you talking about maps? Well, if you're in the fusion event, you're probably looking for these Yeti teeth. Well, if you scan this QR code, you'll get yourself a map which a lot of people need and have been begging the guys at Supercard for. And they're finally delivered. Hopefully they'll do more as we get towards Christmas. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Hey, all you've got to do is make sure you stay glued to the channel so you don't miss any of these. As you can see, I'm going to open that QR code and there is a Yeti map. You are very much welcome. And of course, thanks to the guys at Supercard for doing that. I'm going to start a fusion to get another Yeti T for Num. Then, 22 of those things away from an F3 Charlotte Flair, baby. Can't wait to get it. But that's not what today is about. No. Well, it was one of the things. The second and most important thing is potentially a look into the future of what is coming to the game. In, well, I said near future, but it could be what's happening now in the next couple of days because I found something, I found something online and it's very cool. If you're interested in how games are designed, this is going to be definitely for you. If you're interested in just seeing a far ahead or potential spoilers about what's coming up, this is also going to be very interesting for you. And this is a bunch of concept art that was dropped over the weekend onto the internet. And we're going to go through it. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I found. And it does back up my tweet saying I'm the greatest detective in the world. Well, maybe not the world, but you know what? In the, in the state of WWE games, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Probably not. But before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, if you would be so kind, and it does take two moments of your time, it is free, completely free of charge, and you can change your mind, please drop a like on the video. It really helps me and the channel out. And believe it or not, by you liking, it passes it on to more people, and more people watch the video, and they do more likes, and then it gets more content out, which is good for you. And especially good for you if you subscribe to the channel, which you can also do by pressing that big red button. It looks kind of like this, but a bit more red. And there's a bell next to it as well, which you can use to be notified of all the videos that come out of the channel as they happen. Whilst we're there in the comments, let me know what you think about some of the potential reveals, leaks, whatever you want to pass it. I mean, I, I will go through it in a bit more detail in a second. Uh, first of all, we got ourselves the Heroic Finn Balor, which was the event card for this week. Yada, yada, yada. There he is. Beautiful card. Mm. Love it. I especially love this image. It's freaking great. Anyway, this is the current. Let's look potentially not just to the past, but to the future. Yeah, this is this might reveal quite a bit. So if you don't want to be spoiled for the future of Supercard, then you might want to turn away now because... This showed up over the weekend and I've actually set this up so I can show you. And these are a bunch of concept designs that have been uploaded to the internet. I'm not going to name specifically the artist in question who's done this because I don't want people going crazy at the person. And if it does appear in the video, I do apologize, but I will link the details in the comments and in a description down below so people have a source to go and check this out themselves. It's not going to be me just holding back the information. You're going to be able to check this out yourselves if you want. So I keep pointing to the wrong side. It's this side. This is a bunch of concept art that was uploaded for season eight. And there's a lot of interesting stuff, uh, including logos. But the important thing to mention to every single one of you is that this at no point is a guarantee of anything that's going to happen. I'm not saying to you now that this is all going to be part of season eight or is part of any kind of releases in the future. This is purely speculation based on the information and the facts, which is this. So don't take this as any kind of confirmation that or come back in two weeks time and go, but JB, nothing happened. It's not on my shoulders, okay? Just putting it out there. And I will say that this is the kind of thing I like to see because I like to always get a little bit of the uh, peek under the bonnet of how games are built. 
And I'll say that this has not been an isolated incident. There have been plenty of times that this kind of stuff has been uploaded to the interwebs. You can check it out yourself. There was people from working with Cat Daddy and 2K on season three, season four, season five, season six, but the stuff was uploaded at a later date. Let's break it down. The first part's not gonna be too revealing because this literally has a ton of logos, bits and pieces that this person, especially YouTubers might be very interested in this if they wanna grab some logos or rip some logos for the events, such as like Codebreaker because there's there's really no logo for Codebreaker as such. You got Road to Glory, the old Road to Glory, the current Road to Glory, old Ring Domination, new Ring Domination, and it says they're updated and it's got descriptions to everything as well so you can see for yourself what He's trying to showcase, such as the new Wild, War Games, Rule the Ring, amongst many other things. Puzzlers, which still uses the old logo, which is really weird. I walk the ropes, uh, two ways to win, etc. But it's what comes up on the next page that'll be interesting. And this is concept art for season eight. And this would explain something that popped up when season eight started, which was this random image of Finn Balor just randomly showed up in the game. And it, what you're about to see probably explains that and may, 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 just to explain, may be a look at what is coming up because now we have chapters. We don't just have seasons in Supercard. We have chapters. We're in chapter one right now. Chapter two may be coming up around WrestleMania time. This might be a little look into what is coming up in the future because some of these designs are very, very different to what we have right now. The biggest thing to take away from this is these new logos, which are very different to the current logos we've got. You've got Bianca Belair, more Finn Balor stuff. And you can see here how we've got completely different designs compared to what we had when season eight started. Now we've got Rhea Ripley, John Cena, more Finn Balor, which, hey, I don't mind because it's always Finn. It's always Finn, so I don't mind. There's blue backgrounds, red backgrounds, stuff with the, the current logo, but without the current design. It's a new style for the cards, which is more in keeping with the way that the Valhalla Maelstrom and the Maya cards look now, where they've got the white outlines instead of the old school metal or uh, hard outlines. Now they've got white outlines around the cards. Now a lot of this looks like concept art, but it could be used in the future. And that's the reason I'm showcasing this for you right now. And it's quite an interesting thing to look at. You got Finn Balor, John Cena, Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, all there as you've seen in the previous screenshots. This is where we have the, the UI which is the user interface, the stuff that you guys go on to every single day to play the game, play events, etc. And then we move down to Rule the Ring. I'd say a staple of the game at this point, a very popular game mode that people like because the odds are, 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 sli are slightly better than you get in the normal packs and some of the special cards you get from it. Looks like it's got some kind of new face paint. A lot of this looks fresh, brand new, or at least revitalized to make it more colorful, to bring it in, in line with the brand new look of a new season. And whilst none of this is a guarantee of what is coming up going forward, it is a look into what's been developed and designed for the game. Moving on to the next page, we've got a more cleaner version of War Games. Whilst there's old cards here, these again, just to clarify, being stated very clearly that this is season eight based. But here's the big one. We've got the puzzler there with Brock Lesnar. That is a very big surprise. And especially considering that recently, in fact, yesterday, Funky Town uploaded a video with, and if you don't follow Funky Town, you should go and do that right now, with a Brock Lesnar for the extreme cards, which are due out tomorrow. We'll have more information on the extreme cards coming up. But this is not where it starts. This is, whilst looks like a placeholder, I, I would question the fact that it's just a placeholder based on the fact that the puzzles have already been created, which I will show you guys in just a second. We've got more stuff you guys might not have seen, and that is new badges. Now, these again may be left on the cutting room floor, 
but these do look finalized. Now, I will just clarify that some of these, like the league points, the battle points, two ways to win, etc. You're probably not going to expect these. But these, why would these be there if they're kind of out of the game? I mean, the league points have been out of the game since season six. So very interesting. The same with battle points, because season seven was when the Superstore launched. So that would be quite interesting to see those come back. It does say in the description here, Super Pass trophies and obviously badges. Now, these two badges at the top here with the SC that looks very interesting, potentially related to the Super Pass. And you've also got the one with the two cards kind of colliding. These could be coming forward for maybe the second chapter of the game or a future update. And down at the bottom there, you got the chart topper rewards. These may be nothing to do with the badges at all, or maybe related again to Viva logo there, maybe related to the Survivor game mode, having badges, maybe so many wins or etc. But again, these may not end up in the game. Specifically, it says Super Pass Trophies. That looks, again, that may just be confusion. This looks like Chart Topper, not Super Pass related. But considering a lot of this made the game, very interesting that they left the League Points and the Battle Point stuff in there. But this is the juicy stuff that's coming up in the future. As you'll notice that with the Walk the Ropes mode and a Puzzler mode, yes, Puzzler, or Brock Lesnar, which is fleshed out a bit further downwards, that there is extreme cards in each of these, which is very interesting. So this could be related to the extreme event that starts tomorrow and ends at the beginning of January, which is confirmed by Funky Town in his video yesterday. Whilst we're there, there is a quest going to be starting apparently on the 28th of the month as well. We've got some details about the updated what could be the final design they decided for Walk the Ropes, or again, they could go to see that fresh design, which was featured earlier on. Some of this may never make the game. Some of this will probably never be seen again outside of this video. At no point is any of this a guarantee. This, however, is very interesting with Brock Lesnar. Again, you can see the extreme rewards at the bottom there and some of the puzzles themselves. Now, whilst that 56 second time limit is a little bit suspect, the fact that the puzzler is going to be making a return back and seems to be based off of the extreme cards, including a Brock Lesnar, uh, may, may very well just confirm that we're going to be getting that as part of the extreme cards coming into the game. Then we've got the Superstar Slay Ride. You guys have already seen this in the game already. Some uh, packs which have already been in the game. There's also information that was actually taken down from this site, and I'm going to show that on screen for you now. Now I'm very interested as to why some of these ended up not being kept on the site. Maybe there was a reason they were pulled down. Clash of Champions, Giants Unleashed, which again is, as you go into the game, you'll see this is what it actually looks like. You've also got Last Man Standing, Ring Domination, Road to Glory, the booster packs, if you've, you've seen those for the boosters that are in game, but Looks a little bit different to this. We then have Team Road to Glory with a potential look at a upcoming card. Wolfgang might be making a debut at some point. That is a killer image I would do many things for. He might be in the extreme cards, who knows? Team Stomping Grounds there, Team Ring Domination, War Games. But if you go into the game right now, you're more likely to see a couple of these pop up or variations of these. But that is everything that I found, which I am very interested in. Again, I've, I've said this beforehand, I find this incredibly interesting as a player of a game, as a content creator, to see how the game has worked. Some of this, again, will probably never leave the game's cutting room floor when it's being developed. But some of this is very interesting, especially the Brock Lesnar stuff and the Walk the Rope stuff. Now, of course, this makes me excited about what could be coming up, especially those nude badges. We've also got a lot of potentials for events coming up, especially with the extreme stuff. But again, this may all be completely irrelevant in the future. You might come back to this video and go, JB, all that stuff you talked about, nothing actually happened with it. And that's fine because that is the way a concept art works. But the fact that some of it was withdrawn from the site gives me an idea that maybe there was some stuff that wasn't supposed to come out anyway. My name is Chris Super Summer God Barbecue. You have been awesome. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the near future, perhaps with a Brock Lesnar puzzler, 
and I'll walk the ropes. Maybe. But we'll leave the speculation there. Make sure you're dropping a like on the video, subscribe into the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye. So far away, we wait for